Do you want to know how to regenerate cartilage? I sure do. All right, we're going to do a little talk today. Okay. Since we are talking with docs, and I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. I'm Dr. Brad Weening. And we're going to be talking about regeneration of cartilage. How can I grow new cartilage it's everywhere on the internet? Okay, first of all, why would you want to grow new cartilage? Because you might have arthritis, or yep. you may have had trauma and damaged the cartilage in your joint, like your knee, or your hip, or your shoulder, or and your elbow. And that can lead to like pain and swelling and dysfunction. So you want to have a better joint. Arthritis. Who doesn't want that? A simple Google search will show you hundreds of ways to regenerate your cartilage. Some things I can barely pronounce, let alone spell. All right, let's talk about that. Okay. So what is cartilage anyway? Cartilage is that soft, shiny, smooth stuff that lives on the end of bones uh, where they make up a joint. So say the end of your femur and the top of your tibia will be made of cartilage so that one bone can slide over the other bone smoothly, and that's a joint. Right, and when that wears away, that's what arthritis is. Surgically, there are a few ways that we can regenerate cartilage. Proven. Proven ways, okay? Right. Three, three ways that are very similar, one's called microfracture, one's called drilling, one's called abrasion arthroplasty. Okay, so the whole principle of this, that you have an area where you have abnormal cartilage or completely absent cartilage, and we wanna break up that little area to get yeah. some blood flow coming up from underneath so that our bodies can make brand new, perfect articular cartilage. Almost. <laughs> so yeah, we disrupt the subchondral bone, so yep. the bone underneath the cartilage with yep. one of those three techniques, and it causes some bleeding, and we get fibrocartilage. Fibrocartilage, that okay. doesn't sound like articular yeah. cartilage to me. Articular cartilage is like hyaline cartilage, yes. your meniscus is made of cartilage, fibrocartilage is different, it's a form of scar tissue. Yeah. I tell people it's like, your cartilage is like, you know, the beautiful, a fairway on a nice golf course okay. and you take a divot out sure and there's your cartilage loss right and then it grows back with weeds okay it's green so, so it's not dirt no it's not dirt it's okay. green it's a little cushiony but sure. it's not the same as grass okay that's kind of the fibro cartilage analogy that i use okay it's almost like almost like carpet if you cut your carpet out and then you have the under the under mat kind of underneath your yeah. carpet. and then you come back and put in a different carpet that, of lower grade yeah People okay. will notice. Okay, people will notice. Okay, so that's those are the those are three sort of, of the lesser invasive surgical interventions to right. regenerate cartilage. And this is part of a field of medicine called regenerative medicine. Right. And sometimes we do this when we perform arthroscopy if there's a very small focal area yeah. of bare bone. Your your surgeon may have said, Hey, we performed a microfracture technique where we penetrated it in this tiny little area in hopes that we can make it less abnormal. Okay. Then the next level of invasiveness of surgical intervention would be something called a Macy or something like that. It's a, ma it's a matrix assisted cartilage implantation technique where we take a bit of your cartilage, yep. take it to the lab, grow it, expand it, okay. okay, and then with some sort of matrix, implant it back in your knee. Okay. Very complicated. Sounds complicated. It seems to work a majority of the time. Right. Again, for, for very focal areas of arthritis. So yes. someone that needs an artificial knee yeah. and has a whole condyle yeah. that's eroded, that doesn't really work for this. Okay, yeah. Focal little areas yes. of, of cartilage. Most of what we're talking about is actually more focal. Yeah, okay. that, that's right. Okay. And then get into transplantation after that. Okay. Autograft, which just means it's a cartilage from your body, from another part of your body a part of your knee that you don't use as much and we transplant it to a lesion where, where it's a weight-bearing area. Right. Or allograft where you get uh, cartilage from someone who's deceased and donated their cartilage. You can take that and transplant it in. That usually works better if it's a fresh transplant, so that's a bit tricky. But those are the surgical ways to, it's not even regenerating cartilage, it's trying no. to repair damage. It's like a cartilage. plug or a yeah. patch almost. And the reason it's so difficult is because Cartilage does not have the potential to heal or regenerate adult cartilage. Right. Okay. And cartilage is that soft, cushiony stuff on the end of your bones that make up joints. It just doesn't. Right. So imagine if you're like eating a chicken drumstick, that shiny, smooth stuff on the end of the drumstick. Like if you yeah. want to imagine what cartilage actually looks like, yeah. that's a good idea. That actually is cartilage. And that's it's coming from a cartilage. vegan. So <laughs> you can take that to the, the bank. bank. Take it to the bank. All right. Okay. So yeah, cartilage, now certain tissues in the body can regenerate and heal. You break a bone, it'll heal. Your liver is actually very robust at regeneration. Yeah, yeah don't try this at home, but your, your liver will. Skin is, probably, is the largest organ. Yeah. Thankfully, that one can heal and regenerate. Yes. Certain things in the body cannot. Spinal cord, you've all heard of a spinal cord injury. It's permanent. The spinal cord cannot heal itself or regenerate. 
Cartilage is the same thing. Right. Okay. If you damage the cartilage in a joint, maybe in children it can heal and regenerate, but in adults, once you pass puberty and you've closed your growth plates, that cartilage cannot heal or regenerate. So, so those techniques that we talked about, those are techniques that have scientific evidence and clinical studies that have proven it. And the way that they would measure this is that they do the transplantation and then go on later to either scope the knee or perform an yeah. MRI or look at it in some other direct way. Right. So this has been measured and proven. And it's, just, it's an invasive intervention. It's not even a regeneration of your cartilage. It's like a transplantation, basically, or some okay, weird well, let's, thing. Let's get to the important part, though. Now, with the internet, and there's so many things now that I can buy that yeah. can grow new cartilage. It's very exciting. It's way easier. I would just like to take a supplement that grows a new cartilage. Do you know what Carl Sagan used to say, Paul? No. Carl Sagan used to say, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. This is a phrase that he made very popular in the, in the field of astrobiology. Mm. They think that he probably didn't invent the phrase. He stole it from one of his contemporaries, this guy last name Trutzi, who was like a sociologist. But yes, and I think this applies to this area and so many areas of health and medicine that are on the internet. And extraordinary claims are made all the time, most of them lacking any evidence, let alone extraordinary evidence. Okay. And now we are not going to slam any particular supplement or any particular uh, preparation or naturopathic pill or yeah. anything you take in. We're not going to slam any particular one. We're just going to empower you to critically appraise the marketing tactics of these supplements. So let's go through the list of the ones that have really good evidence to show that they can regrow cartilage. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Number one. That's it. Okay. That was, we hope you enjoyed our list of supplements that can regrow cartilage. There are no supplements or foods that have ever been shown in a rigorous clinical study to regrow your cartilage. That's as of today. If yeah. you're watching this in the future and we're in hologram format right. or you're watching us because you were one of those people that volunteered to go to Mars right. but they figured out there's no way to come back. Yeah. So here you are on Mars a hundred years from now watching right. this. Okay. Right. Maybe then. But now, right. no. And right. I say it's like this. Let's say, God forbid, you have a traumatic amputation of a digit, like okay. a thumb or a finger or something. Horrible. We know the compounds that are in there. There's cartilage in there. There's calcium. There's, there's a lot of different chemicals that yep. make up your finger. You can't take a pill of those chemicals and make your finger grow back. No. No. You can transplant a finger. You can do something right. like that, something surgical. But there's no supplement that's going to grow your finger back. So the same thing goes with cartilage. Yeah. So anytime you see one of those claims that says, oh, these are the things that are going to grow my cartilage back, just think, will it grow my finger back? No. Oh, that's your test. Okay. That's my test. I like it. It's and, a high bar I've set. Yeah. And, and what you may find is that there are supplements or foods that are going to reduce some of your symptoms potentially from that's arthritis, fine. right? That's so fine. Maybe reduce your pain, reduce your swelling, improve your motion. So. But sometimes when those things happen, they then make claims that this is because you're growing new cartilage and it's just simply not a true statement. Even with things that we inject that successfully treat people's symptoms of arthritis, it is not growing new cartilage. Guaranteed, leave a comment. If you've taken something and someone has told you that it's growing your cartilage, leave a comment. If you've taken something that's helped your arthritis, leave a comment. But there's going to be questions for sure about, about stem cells, Paul. Okay. Let's talk about stem cells. Stem cells are pluripotent cells that exist in your body. And what do you mean by pluripotent? pluripotent? It means they have the potential to turn into a lot of different types of tissue. Right. Okay. They're like a white t-shirt that you're going to tie-dye. You know what I mean? You can make a red shirt. You can make a blue like shirt. You can make a yellow like shirt. Make a pattern shirt. Because if you think of when we were conceived, we were yeah. just a couple of cells, yeah. and those are the ultimate stem cells because those That's cells right. have the potential to turn into everything that right. becomes you. So people are trying to get these stem cells and encourage them to become cartilage. Right. And it's it's possible. It right. is possible to take stem cells in the lab and get a bunch of really, really smart people to wine and dine these stem cells yep. to convince them to turn into cartilage. Which our bodies normally do with a bunch of complicated signaling pathways to say, hey, become a liver, hey, yeah. become an arm, become a leg. Right. But that's what we have to figure out is how to send those signals to those cells so that they listen and do what they're told. And the state of the art now is you can, we can turn that into cartilage, but yep. that cartilage still doesn't have the good mechanical properties like your own cartilage as it, is, as it stands right, right now. So they've done it, they've successfully grown it, put it in the hole, it fails. Yeah, 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 exactly. I've been part of research teams and I've done that and I've yep. done those experiments and I can tell you right now it's not, it's not there yet. 
So, but having said that, just to give you a little idea of how it's supposed to work, can you imagine in what way taking some stem cells from one part of your body or fat cells from one part of your body and injecting them into a joint will all of a sudden turn into cartilage? The chances of that happening are zero. And that's why it doesn't happen. So yeah. stem cells right now do not help. Right. Do not grow back your cartilage in, right. in a joint. In, in some people, there have, there have been claims that it can reduce some of your symptoms, which potentially is possible. Well, let's study it. Show yeah. me the evidence. Show me that. Show, show me the on long, cousin of the stem cell yes. therapy is the PRP therapy. We've done a couple of videos on this topic. Same thing. PRP, platelet-rich plasma injections. Yeah. That's where they take a bit of your blood, spin it down, take the platelet-rich part, inject it back into your joint. That will not grow back your cartilage. Right. It may help your symptoms Maybe for a while. There's yeah. some evidence pointing to that. It will not grow back your cartilage, nope. period. Okay, now some viewers are going to say, well, what about MSM? That, that seems to work. Well, I, no, have you no. seen any of those no. claims? No. What about I've seen lots of those claims. I've seen no evidence to support those claims. Chondroitin. Does nope. that grow? No. Shark cartilage. Is nope. that going to work? Turmeric, is that going to grow back? Nope. It might reduce some of your symptoms again. Yeah. But it's, it's not going to grow back. It's not going to grow back the lost, worn out cartilage. And this is not an anti, because people are like, oh yeah, big pharma, blah, 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 I want you to take your anti-inflammatory. No, it's not, it's got nothing to do with big pharma. It's just, we just don't want people to be hosed by yeah. businesses that are selling stuff that just is not true. Now, there may be a video out there with Paul and Brad, the pharmaceutical, nutri, nutraceutical supplement companies that yeah. say, that's just, those guys are just saying that because they're surgeons. Of yeah. course, you're going to say there's only surgical ways to that's do it. Right. That's, right. that's probably what they're saying right now. Yeah. And you may be saying that. Sure. Listen, if I had a genie and, uh, and it came out and said, I'm going to grant you one wish, I'd say, oh, please grow back cartilage. Sure. I'd vote for that, even yeah. though I'd be out of a job. Yeah. But that just isn't the state of it. Just think, if I take this pill, will it grow back a finger if it gets cut off? No. no. Will it grow back my cartilage? Now you know. We thought we thought it was an important topic because people who have severe arthritis are are desperate, and we just don't want you to spend your money or rest your hope in something that doesn't have a lot of facts based behind it. Put your hope in the research. Regenerative regenerative yeah. medicine is a huge field. Yes, very exciting. Uh, and the, the FDA has its own sort of arm now for regenerative don't medicine. Don't mention It's gonna make people mad. <laughs> Health Canada. Yeah. Um, so there is a lot of research going into it yep. and maybe someday, one day, when you're watching us in hologram format in your flying car on Jupiter, you may see, hey, remember when those guys said you couldn't grow cartilage? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's laughing now? There you go. So if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.